The reason Dr. Shelov wanted me to speak specifically to pediatricians about autism spectrum disorders in a very basic way is that surveys have shown that 44% of pediatricians are caring for at least 10 patients with an autism spectrum disorder. Uh, where do we get our, our incidence figures, which you now know uh, the figure that's being most widely quoted is one in 150 kids. The CDC organized in the year 2000 the Autism and Developmental Disabilities Monitoring Network. This was a records-based surveillance program, so it screened records for the presence of autistic behaviors and was not therefore dependent on either a physician or an educator to have assigned the uh, label of, of autism. And the figure 1 in 150 came from data from two time periods. I guess I can use my arrow here. In 2000, the survey revealed an incidence of, of 1 in 303 eight-year-olds, and in 2002, one in 94, and that was averaged so that we came up with an incidence of 1 in 150, or 6.6 .6 per 1,000 kids, which represents a tenfold incidence over 50 years ago, although it's important to remember that 50 years ago only autistic disorder was targeted. Now, we in this country have not broken this 6.6 um, .6 per 1,000 into uh, diagnostic categories, but in Canada, where the overall incidence is very similar, 6.5 per thousand, in fact that breakdown has been done and it has been shown that autistic disorder accounts for 2.2 per thousand, Asperger 1 per thousand, and PDD not otherwise specified 3.3 per thousand patients. 